Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center here coming at you from SHOT Show 2022 at the Benchmade booth with Mr. Michael. And how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Excited to check out the new knives. Yeah, absolutely. Excited to show you what well, we got. I'll just let you kind of take it away. What, uh, what do you want to show us first? Sure. So uh, let's start with the Immunity family. Um, it's a new product line for us. Uh, sort of came to fruition from concept all the way to finished product over the course of the last couple of years, hence the name. Uh, <laughs> so we have a few different versions. Um, here we have, uh, this is the manual version. Um, just kind of a, you know, a nice small knife, has the worn clip blade, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, M4, uh, because why not? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> yeah, this might, a little bit of breaking in, it looks like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, nice little size, three and a half finger grip on there. Mm -hmm. I like how you see it more probably on the uh, the little guy here. I like how that ties in with the colorway on the uh, bailout yep. uh, previous version, which I'm a big fan of that knife. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So we got a manual version and then also. Yeah, yeah so then here we have, uh, this is the partial immunity. So it's a California legal automatic. Uh, and all three of these come in all three different colorways. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, all three are available in the in the burnt bronze, uh, the green, and the, and the blue. And then here we have uh, the full immunity. So this is the, the full size automatic version. Um, and are these coming with the uh, the fob and beads, or is this yep. just something going on here? Yep, they come with the lanyard and the okay. bead as well. Cool. Um, just kind of a cool touch. Yeah, I mean. The nice thing about this is it is a small knife, but it feels solid. It feels mm -hmm. uh, secure in your grip, I should say. Thanks to those finger grooves and the width. It's not a super slim knife. Yep, fits really well yeah. in a hand. Uh, even though it's a smaller knife, the worn cliff shape, you know, still provides you some of that strength behind uh, the tip, even though it's a smaller blade. Yeah. Yeah, very snappy. Very snappy. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so we've had a lot of fun with that one this that, year. That blue has a really nice deep look to it too. Mm -hmm. I'm digging that. Of course, you got the spine safety there as well. Yep. Completely ambidextrous. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, that, that blade shape's gonna be a really nice worker. I think we're seeing a lot of good worn cliffs this week, or this week here at SHOT Show that are gonna make great utility knives for you guys. Yep, and uh, next one we got here for you is the shootout. Um, so this is actually a, the, one of the first out the fronts that we've done with an injection molded handle. So mm -hmm. this is our CF Elite. Uh, the blade is a crew wear. Mm -hmm. uh, part of that is to allow us to make it thin enough that it really cuts down on the weight. Because you've got extra toughness from the steel so it can withstand. You're, yeah. not, you're not as worried about the thinner blade. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just so lightweight and snappy. Um, you know, if you're somebody who has strayed away from carrying out the fronts, I really recommend to get this in hand and yeah. try it out. Uh, yeah, the, the first thing that, that impressed me when I picked it up was that weight, or lack mm -hmm. thereof, I should say. I mean, that is a, for something with the internals of an OTF, the weight there, I don't have the spec here in front of me, but is very nice, very easy to carry. That thin blade steel is gonna cut better too. Mm -hmm. You know, even though, you know, you get the benefit of the toughness allowing you to go thinner, you're gonna be able to slice better. It's just gonna feel more satisfying day to day. Yeah, and has a great blade to handle ratio as well. Yeah. You know, a lot of these out the front, you'll see with the spear point blades. Um, mm -hmm. Really wanted to keep this one as an effective knife for everyday purposes. So yeah. it's that uh, that Tonto shape. Um, yeah, really good just for everyday tasks. Fits nicely yeah. in your pocket. It's one of those kind of hybrid Tontos that's very useful even if you're not a Tonto person. Exactly. Which is the same reason I like my bailout too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Real comfy handle, got your glass breaker there at the end, reversible clip. It's a nice traction pad kind of right there at the front. Give you that extra little bit of grip. Yeah. Yep, just very snappy as well. It's just fun to play with. I like kind of thematically that you guys are going with a lightweight OTF with mm -hmm. like the success of the bug out all yeah. these past years. I like that you're kind of leaning into that in a way and I like that. Yeah, so you'll kind of sense a theme here with the, with the out family, if you will. So. You'll see a lot out. of products, yeah. you know, yeah. what the bug out family did for us with, you know, really lightweight, um, really cut out as much as we could, but mm -hmm. still keep that same strength and durability and, and utility, um, but cut out everything that's not necessary. So right. it's, you know, lighter, faster, stronger. Uh, 
So here we have... Speaking of stronger. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, if you remember the mini Adamas family that we launched last year. One of uh, my favorites of the year, for yeah. sure. So this is the 273VK-2201. Um, this was our pre-shot special knife this mm -hmm. year. Uh, comes in the dark red colorway and the black, uh, black crew wear blade. Um, just kind of a riff off of what we did last year, but with a new sort of bold mm -hmm. look. So that's uh, Maroon Micarta, yes? Yes. Very nice. Is it going to be just in the mini or also in the, the full size? Just, you know? in the mini, just in the mini, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, if, folks, if you haven't seen my uh, my best of the year video from last year, the mini was on that list because it's just a great, strong little knife. Well, it's, it's a little knife that punches up. Yeah, like it, it's absolutely. Not, it's not something that feels weak. It, it's, it, yeah, feels like a bigger, stronger knife yeah. in a way. Yeah. Mini is almost misleading yeah, because it's yeah. a, it's a it'll fill your hand. Oh, yeah. For sure. I love that. I love that McCarta on there. That's very cool. Very nice. Yep. And that one's limited edition. Um, so here we have the Weekender series. So we have two versions. Uh, we have it with the cool gray G10 handle. Um, we also have it with the Micarta handle as well. Um, sort of our Benchmade take on the traditional uh, gentleman's knife, uh, similar to the proper, if you're familiar with the proper family. Sure. Um, has two blades on it. So we have uh, the clip point blade, mm -hmm. and then we also have the spay blade as well. Um, and then my personal favorite feature, uh, the bottle opener. Right. So. Which of course, as we discussed <laughs> earlier, makes it officially a multi-tool. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice. I'm really liking the micarta, especially there. Mm -hmm. I think that some folks are gonna have a lot of fun, like if they are into writ dyeing stuff, they're going to be able to dye that gray a nice color, but that Macar the green right there, especially. Yep. I think is super nice, especially with those orange pivot standoffs. Yeah, a little wow. something for everyone with the traditional nice. look here and sort of the the modern take as well. And I like the uh, the stone wash finish on these too. It feels, I, I may be mistaken, but it feels even a little bit heavier than some of your previous stone washes. Mm -hmm. It just has a little bit of. It, it feels like it has a little bit more character in a way. Full flat grind here, high flat here. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Cool. Yep. All right. So here we have the Anonymous. Um, this is a survival knife, um, really meant to be used for any sort of outdoor purposes. Um, also has some tactical utility as well. Um, has a olive drab uh, G10 handles, uh, crew wear blade, super tough. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool features on this guy, so one, it has the guard here. so. Uh, just for a little extra safety, you know, any hard use tasks. Here. Well, like any good survival knife, in my mind, always yep. is a blend of the tactical and the outdoor stuff. Sure. So you want to have that for sure. Yeah. This thing kind of walks that line perfectly. Yep. And then uh, one of the cool sort of understated features here is in the choil. Um, this is actually milled out post finishing. Mm -hmm. So it has a really sharp edge in here. So if you're using a ferro rod or- Coincidence a, looks exactly the same diameter, doesn't yep, it? Yep, yep. <laughs> Funny how that works. Almost like you've made it on purpose or something. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it allows you to use that edge instead of the spine like yeah, you might yeah. traditionally do. A little bit safer and allows and a little you to, bit more comfortable in uh, some various grips yep, as well. Yep, yeah, it allows you to hold the blade like you normally would. Yeah. So some smart features there. Very nice. Yeah. I dig the blade thickness here. It's especially with crew wear. That's, it's not a, a big wedge that you're going to be able to split with, like, all day long. But where you've had that really wide geometry. Yeah. But it's going to stand up to the beating, mm -hmm. and it's going to slice better all day long too. Yeah, man, I'm liking that. You guys, are, you guys are killing it this year, man. Yeah, we're big fans of the crew wear steel. You'll see it on all of the new stuff. I like a little bit of the pinch grip there with mm -hmm. the uh, the scallops. Good geometry, man, all around it's a winner. Nice sheath too. Yep. Yep. Nice Kydex. Yep, Kydex. And then, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, uh, just a smart design here. Just kind of pinch on the corners and it pops right out. So really easy to use. Very cool. Well, let's keep with the fixed blades here for a minute because we got a couple right here. Yeah, so we have two new versions of the Meat Crafter. Uh, was super successful last year. Uh, we did the Meat Eater version with the S45. Mm -hmm. VN blade. Um, we have two more versions with the S45 as well. So a nice upgrade to the blade steel. Um, CPM 154 on the standard version. Correct. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So on this one, you'll see uh, the orange Cerakote um, and the carbon fiber handles. Um, this guy, you'll see the, the slightly more subtle look 
yeah. on this particular one. <laughs> exactly. But high vis on this one, if, mm-hmm. you, if you were taking that out into the field. Yeah, good luck losing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that sounds terrible. No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> good luck not Cut losing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always said, too, even whether you're using this in a game processing scenario or even in the kitchen, yeah. this is a phenomenal slicing you know, butchery blade, really. Absolutely, I mean, and meant to be, you know, uh, you can use it in the field. Um, I have one in my kitchen at home, it, really for any task in between. Uh, yeah, it's great. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, we got another knife with this uh, distinctive look here. Yeah, so this here is the Raghorn, um, sort of an in-between of our meat crafter and some of our like other more traditional hunt class knives. Um, again, you'll see the crew wear steel, uh, a theme for this year. Uh, and this guy is really meant for hard, any hard use hunting task. So if you're processing, a, you know, any sort of big game um, and you're cutting and chunking through, mm-hmm. um, this is the one. You'll see a lot of smart features here with some of the jimping, um, just to provide a variety of grips. Um, you know, you can pull that here or um, meant to be used with gloves as well. It just gives you a really good surface to the yeah, the, the kind of serrations or whatever you want to call it from the side here are rather interesting, mm-hmm. especially in that pinch grip. Yeah, if you're really. Getting, yep. Sorry, if you're getting up inside something and it's wet, mm-hmm. that ain't bad. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice the uh, the join here on the front of the handle. So the two scales coming together on the front, so you don't have the tang there. So it's one less spot for a hot spot to really rise up. Very cool. Yeah, a little easier to clean as well. Check out that contour as well, you guys. There's it's not just some flat scales bolted onto there. There's some thought put into that shape for sure. God, another thin, slicey blades, man. Love mm-hmm. it. <laughs> Check that out. Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, sheaths on these guys are, are we dealing with these over yes. here? Or? Yeah. So this is the the meat crafter sheath here, and then this is the raghorn sheath. Uh, belt attachments coming in the box, or will they have to like supply their own tech line? Uh, separate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good deal. Perfect. So if the raghorn is for processing big game, here we have the flyway for small game or uh, like foul. Uh, same thing, just a really precise, smaller knife for just those precision cuts. Um, meant to be carried in a variety of ways and handle positions. Um, jimping at the front, so if you really need to get in there and you know make some precise uh, cuts, mm-hmm. that's the one. Um, also intended to be used with a pencil grip as well. Um, so just a lot of utility there, um, any kind of small game or waterfowl. Yeah. Would make a decent EDC fixed blade too. Mm-hmm. If you want something without the, the fussiness or cleanliness problems of a lock, still got a pretty full handle grip on that for a very useful little blade. CPM 154, stone washed, nice pinch grip on this one as well with the thumb scallops there. Very subtle, a little bit more subtle because it kind of blends into the shape, but I like that. Yeah, really good addition to our hunt line. Similar story on the sheath for this? Yeah. Okay, rock on. Rock on. All right. More axis locks. Yeah, yes. so moving down the line. So this is the Redoubt. Um, and really what we were looking for was a everyday carry tactical knife, uh, tactical folder. So you can kind of see the inspiration here. Um, a lot of the, the themes and trends that you see mm-hmm. in the firearms industry with the grip. Um, and the colorways as well. Uh, looks really good in pocket drops, you know, with the, <laughs> <laughs> with the Glocks and uh, yeah, just kind of uh, meant to be a, sort of the griptilian for your black for the, class for the, user. I was yeah. gonna, I was gonna uh, mention that because similar to the griptilian, you've got a handle shape here that is pretty much designed so anyone will have a good time putting their hands on it. There's yep. no, it, in contrast to the knife we're gonna look here, in a minute, which has a very defined kind of grip shape, perfectly neutral, big hands, small hands, all are gonna work extremely well there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, reversible pocket clip as well. So both of these sections, uh, for folks wondering, one of these isn't rubberized, which I know some you've done some of that on uh-huh. certain knives in the past. So both of these are kind of hard plastic, nice deep carry pocket clip there. Very, I mean, that's very deep carry. Like, yep. Not a lot gonna get away there. Good blade geometry, CPM D2, so you've got the powder metal version of that steel. Yeah, man. Very nice. Better better slicing geometry than the Griptilian, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited for the readout. Very cool. 
you're excited for that. I've been yep. excited for this particular knife ever since I saw the pictures myself. Yeah. Um, tell us about the tag down. Sure. So I think one of the things that we heard consistently from customers over the last few years and that we saw is people were carrying their bug outs into the field and using them for a lot of hunting tasks, mm -hmm. which, and we really took that feedback to heart mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, made something that's a little bit uh, designed more for the hunting uh, crowd. So you can kind of see a lot of the inspiration from the bug out family, um, but with some smart changes that mm -hmm. optimize it for hunting and carrying in the field. So we've gotten rid of the thumb studs here um, and, and put the, uh, the slot for opening just to reduce drag. So if you're processing- Fewer, fewer an, points to get caught up on something. Yeah, yeah. So if you're you know, processing an animal, you're not gonna get it stuck on bones or, or flesh or anything. Uh, pulling it in and out of your pocket, um, not gonna catch there. We've extended the handle a little bit. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, for if you're carrying with gloves, uh, it's a little bit easier, or wet conditions. Mm -hmm. um, some of the texture that we've added to the handle. Uh, and then the orange colorway as well um, matches the rest of the hunt line. Absolutely. Easy to find, uh, and but still sort of carries the iconic shape of the bug out. Yeah. And it's, it's again, it's that low weight mm -hmm. in the hand. It's not gonna weigh you down. Feels good. I like the traction on there. Same, same bug out pocket clip going on there. Guys, check out how thin that blade is. With that full flat grind, man. Man, that's that's going to be a wicked slicer for sure. CPM 154, stone washed. You guys have made this for me, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. How did you, how <laughs> did you know? Yeah, we, we received your mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, folks, they do listen. Man, look at I I'm excited about that. Yeah. I'm excited by a lot of the stuff on this table, actually. I must mm -hmm. admit, very very cool. Yeah. So next we have the 945-221. Um, this is our limited unlimited gold class for this year, meaning. We'll produce this through the end of the year and and then no more we'll move on to the next one uh, but our gold class team back at the factory they do a great job of mm -hmm. of kind of coming up with all kinds of cool innovative ways oh, yeah. to use new materials so uh, here you'll see uh, sort of the gold class take on the 945 uh, it has the damascus steel blade it's the a gear pattern which mm -hmm. if you're familiar with norse mythology is uh basically a, a sea monster, hmm. a sea serpent. So everything kind of took inspiration. That kind of guides the rest of the materials there. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you'll see um, the fat carbon handle here. Uh, it's the Arctic storm pattern uh, with sort of the blues, the blues and blacks. Yeah. Um, the teal anodized uh, bolster here. Uh, I think one of the coolest features is the floating backspacer on the yes, back. Yes, I would agree with you there. Uh, yeah. Floating gold backspacer, um, just all around a really well, pretty it's, nice. It's the first mini to kind of echo that design language from the full size with mm -hmm. the, the like the green handles with the purple ridge backspacer yep. and all the other variants you've done over the years. But it's even cooler because it's floating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it just creates yeah. that cool illusion. You see the like the two the two connection points right there, but that is very slick. Yeah, I'm really digging that too, man. People are going to love that. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. All okay. right. So next here, uh, this might look pretty familiar. So this is the 533-3. Last year we came out with the 535-3. So of course we had to upgrade the little brother as well. Um, same thing, you'll see the carbon fiber handles here, uh, S90V blade. Took sort of the basic model and just gave everything an upgrade. Yeah. Well, and you guys have done kind of this combination of materials on several models over the years. Yep. Because it looks great and it just works. I mean, I, I picked up one of the uh, the full sizers of that last year myself. Yeah, if you're familiar with the the 940-1, similar idea, right? Yeah. Take the classic design and and upgrade the materials. I mean, if you need a little three inch gentleman's knife, you could do a lot worse than this guy right mm -hmm. here. Still has that great bug out feel, but there's more there. Like it's it's more rigid. You got the extra good materials, the crazy high edge retention of the, the S90V. Winner, man. Yep. Yeah, you'll see a lot of uh, you'll see a lot of those being carried around Benchmade HQ. Nice. Yep. <laughs> and last but not least, yeah. So again, this so this is the Claymore which we released last year. Um, another example of how we sort of listened to the feedback uh, came out last year with a serrated version. Um, found that 
most people or a lot of people are carrying this as an EDC and we're looking for a plain edge mm -hmm. version. So the Claymore is back, um, with, this time with the plain edge instead of the serrations, um, but still has all the same cool features, super lightweight, um, CPM really D2. snappy. Yep. Yep. Yeah, very cool knife. And that, that was kind of my only personal drawback with the original too, is mm -hmm. just, I, I like the plain edge. Yep. But, you know, obviously there's plenty of good uses for these serrations, but I like this. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do, I do. Good feel in the hand. Not quite as lightweight as, if you're looking for like a really lightweight auto, the shootout's gonna give you a little bit more, but this is not gonna weigh you down either. Mm -hmm. Nice. And just so fun to, I mean, it's so easy with the knurled button, it just, it feels good, it kicks hard. Everything yeah. you're looking for in, a, in an auto. Great tactical piece, great EDC piece. Yeah, man, there you go. Plain Edge Claymore. All right, that's all the time we've got today. Well, it's all the models we've got to show you anyway, even if we had more time. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you thought down in the comments. And all of these are available for pre-order at theknifecenter.com. Except maybe that, uh, that Adamus might not be up quite yet. Uh, but you can check out all the full prices and everything at the links below. And keep sticking around for more great SHOT Show coverage with us right here. Mike, thank you. Absolutely. Very much. Yep, thank Appreciate you. It. See you guys.